What is going on, my beautiful, lovely, powerful creators? How are we all doing today? I hope we're all getting our desires. We better all be getting our desires. So I want to talk a little bit more about affirming. I did a video on affirming a while ago about what it means to actually affirm, but now I want to talk about what to do if affirming is not working for you. Because here's the thing. Yes, you can choose whatever technique works for you and that is going to form an assumption and that is going to create into your reality because whatever your assumptions are, even if they're completely different from everyone else in the entire world, that assumption in your reality is going to create your reality. So whatever technique gets you there is the technique that you should be using. Just because someone is telling you to do this and that and do this new thing new thing. That doesn't mean that you need to change up what's been working for you. If something, if you have found what's been working for you and what always works all the time, do not change anything just because it's not trending or you're not seeing more videos on the topic. Why? I don't know why people want to hinder their manifestations and tell other people what to do when that's not even what's working for them. Like, I'm not just going to sit here and pass on information because it's trendy i'm going to tell you the truth but here's the thing you can script you can visualize you can fucking stand on your head <laughs> if that gets you your desire every time but affirming does not fall into these categories affirming is not something that can work or can't work now i can see it kind of getting into a technique when you start to talk about conscious affirming, robotic affirming, what type of affirming is the best. Now we have all of these new ways to affirm and ways that you're doing affirming wrong. Stop telling people that they're doing things wrong. And, and if, you're, if you're on here to get advice, stop listening to people who are telling you you're doing anything wrong. You're not doing anything wrong. You can't. So I want to do a little bit more clarification on affirming because if affirming isn't working for you there's a reason why you're thinking that and it, it's literally impossible because affirmations affirming it is just your thoughts around a subject words of affirmation <laughs> around a subject affirmations are your thoughts and you have 70,000 thoughts all day long. So if you are thinking negatively about a topic, even if you're not consciously doing so, that is the reason why you're not getting your desire. Just because you affirm consciously or robotically for 500 or a thousand times a day, what are you thinking the other 69,000 thoughts that you had that day? Are you thinking against it? What you need to do is you need to be aware, first of all. Be aware of where your thoughts are. We want to catch our thoughts and see what we're actually thinking throughout the day, and then we're going to change that. So be aware of where your mind goes. Be aware of where you find your mind dwelling, because that is most likely what you're experiencing in the 3D. If you can keep your thoughts in line with how you want them to reflect 51%, Every single day, you're getting 1% better every single day. 1% up to 100%. Okay, so 100 days until you have your dream, like until you're thinking 100% positive, positively the way that you should be thinking about your desire. 100 days, okay. It's not really that hard. It, that's like the bare minimum that you can do is to just not think negatively as much as you possibly can. Now, I know that you've probably, if you've been watching a lot of manifestation videos and you're learning how to manifest, I'm sure you've heard a lot of terms floating around like feel it real, be in the wish fulfilled, feel, feel, feel. I really wish I could go back in time and stop Neville Goddard from writing those words about feeling it real because when he wrote feel it real, he wasn't even talking about invoking an emotion. He was just talking about the feeling of having this desire. How would you feel? If you were in a relationship with the person that you're manifesting, I'm sure at first you would be ecstatic. You'd be over the moon. The moment that they text you or the first time you run into them, you would be jumping up and down excited. But how would you feel if you were in a long-term committed relationship with them? 
you wouldn't be jumping up and down every single day. You wouldn't wake up and be like, oh my God, I'm so happy I finally got him. No, like you've been together. You would feel like it's normal. It's as normal as me saying my hair is brown. My name is Erin. I was born in Michigan. So stop trying to get an emotion when you're affirming. Your affirming should be your natural normal thoughts. Your natural normal thoughts are what create assumptions. It's what creates how your life plays out. So you should be affirming as if it's a natural normal thing. That's why I said before, affirm like you're telling your best friend that you already have your desire. He loves being my boyfriend. He's in love with me. Not He's in love with me. Oh my God, he's in love with me. He loves me, my boyfriend. No, we're not that excited about it. We're nonchalant. When we affirm, we want to be as nonchalant as we possibly can. That is why it's called robotic affirming because we are literally affirming like robots. No emotion on repeat. Go, 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 go. The conscious is checking out. The sub- it is flooding into the subconscious. We're not trying to get emotions. We're not trying to feel it real. We're not trying to feel things into existence. We're just trying to feel what we would normally feel if this desire was ours. Having 100,000 subscribers is just as real to me as having brown hair. Making $1,000 a day is just as real to me as my name being Aaron. Say things like that. We can list obvious things and mix in our goals with that and it's like a way of kind of I don't want to say tricking our subconscious because that's impossible but it's a way of getting it in like sneaking those little affirmations in there and you're you're thinking so many things that are in line with what you experience on a day-to-day basis and then just slipping in these little desires that you want and saying it as if you have them your subconscious is just going to accept it and this is something that i do i do as often as possible when i wake up or when i'm falling asleep my name is aaron i'm 29 years old i was born in michigan i have two dogs I make $1,000 a day. On and on and on and on and on. Did you even know which one of those wasn't true? Maybe. (laughs) But that's how we're going to do it. Here's the thing. When you speak, your words are a spell. Your words are your reality. What you say in that exact moment is reality. So anything you say is reality. The only... Real reality is in your mind. What you see out in the 3D is just a reflection of your thoughts from a month ago, a few weeks ago, years ago, what you've always thought. You have to first change your inner thoughts and your inner self, who you are on the inside, and then it will reflect in the outside world. It's a mirror. The 3D is a mirror. You're standing in front of a mirror and you're just talking to yourself and telling yourself who you are and then you're seeing who you are reflect but say your hair is a mess and you need to fix your hair do you touch the mirror reflection and fix your hair in the mirror or do you touch your own self and fix your hair and then see it reflected in the mirror you have to go within You fix your mind. You fix your subconscious thoughts. You train your mind and then you will see it. You don't go out there meddling and looking and saying, oh, I can't see it. No, you keep your mind where it's supposed to be. You say your affirmations. You tell the 3D how it's going to reflect. It is just as simple as looking into the mirror. We're not going to get all worked up and start jumping up and down at the sight of something that we've been feeling inside. We already are that person. Yeah, you should be excited and you should celebrate every time you get a win and every time it shows up in your 3D reality. But that doesn't mean that you you finally have it. You've already had it all along. Anything you desire, you already have it right now. You desire it now, so it's in your reality now. It's in your mind now. So whatever you're desiring in your mind now is just as real as the things that you've accepted about yourself that you want 
to keep that you don't want to change. You want to keep seeing them in the 3D. I like my brown hair, okay? So me having brown hair is just as real as me having $1,000 a day. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's a good exercise to do. Me having two dogs is just as real as me having $1,000 a day. My name being Aaron is just as real as me having $1,000 a day. Your affirmations, your words, your thoughts are your superpower. It is all it takes to create is affirmations, your thoughts. Your thoughts are what creates. Your affirmations are your thoughts. Repeat, repeat, saturate your mind. 1% better every single day until it's 100%. And stop trying to attach emotions to it. Just be, just be, just accept that it is true. Accept, assume that it is true. Don't be stuck in law of attraction where you're trying to attract all of these things. It is all within you. Everything is within. Everything starts from within. Stop saying things don't work. Everything works. Every technique works just the same. Every technique will work for you. Stop saying things don't work. Stop saying affirming doesn't work. That's literally so, so dumb. Thinking doesn't work. No, thinking doesn't bring me my desires. No, imagining doesn't bring me my desires. That's the whole law of assumption premise right there. So you're saying law of assumption isn't real? Why are you here then? <laughs> stop complaining. Just actually do the work. Just actually do the work. It's not hard work. And when you actually do the work, you actually put in the work. It is impossible not to feel better. It is impossible. And things will start coming to you so easily and so naturally. It's just going to all start flooding in, just flowing in so naturally, beautifully, perfectly. You are a creator. You are a perfect creator. You are perfect. You create perfectly. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'd love to have you here. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And also if you need any really personalized guidance, I offer one-on-one -on -one email coaching currently. All of that's in the description box below. And I will see you guys in a future video. Okay, bye.